Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. I made it to Colorado. I parked in an area last night that has everything I need. Grocery stores, Planet Fitness, and I can see the mountains. Mountains. Oh, it's so beautiful. I really feel like wherever I officially live, like wherever I buy land, there has to be mountains. I'm going to work out, take a shower, and then run a few errands. Just got back from the gym, and now it's time to eat my burrito. This thing was so good. I had it in the Hot Logic. If you've never heard of this before, it's great. I had it in that while I was in the gym. I was watching a movie, eating some dinner, when I got a notification on my phone for a severe thunderstorm. I thought I could just wait it out, but then I started hearing noises on my roof that did not sound like rain, and I realized it was hell. And then I got another notification saying that hell the size of golf balls would be coming through the area. So I ended up getting dressed really quickly, trying to find somewhere to take cover until the hell went away. I wanted to park my van in a little area in Home Depot that has a covered part so that the hell wouldn't hit my van, but everyone beat me to it and it was completely full, so I went looking for a gas station to park underneath. I ended up missing the turn I was supposed to take to get to the gas station and I just said forget it. There was a bridge right in front of me and I saw other people parking underneath the bridge so I did the same. does not talk on this Google Maps. She doesn't talk and I don't I miss my turn. So I'm just parked under the bridge. I don't know, I'm just gonna stay under the bridge. I really don't know. I can't really tell if it's rain or hell right now, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit till these Coloradians until when they leave the bridge, then I'll leave the bridge. Maybe they're used to this kind of weather so they know. Oh, 
Uh, never get too comfortable. To be a slogan. Van life. Never get too comfortable. It stormed the rest of the night, but the hail stopped, so I was able to go back to my parking spot and finish my movie and go to sleep. The laundry mat I went to opened at 6 a.m. and I think I got there at around 6:20. I wanted to go early because I just because I don't like going to laundry mats when a ton of people are there. This is my first experience going to a laundry mat early, right when it opens, and I think it'll be my new thing. This is my least favorite thing to do is put the cushion covers back on the cushions. I hear a lot of people say they hate putting the duvet cover back on the duvet, but honestly, that's easy to me, even in this tiny space. But this is annoying. This is the laundry detergent I used. This is my first time ever using anything like this. But I love it, it's perfect for van life. The detergent is just in these little sheets. You just put one or two sheets in your load. That's it. Super easy, minimal. Is the signal better? After doing laundry, I went to a natural history museum that was nearby, and they had a ton of insects. Um, it was pretty interesting. I've never been to any place like this before. I have a very irrational fear of insects, and oddly enough, this kind of helped me with that. I have a goal of not being scared of bugs anymore because I just think it's ridiculous, and I never used to be this scared of bugs before. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. I did that and then I went back to the city to find another place to park and spend one last night in that area. I'm getting ready to leave. I've been in the city for, I think this is my third day I've been in the city in Colorado. So now I'm about to get some groceries, stock up my fridge, and head to the main place that I wanted to go, like the main place of this whole trip. So I'm super excited. I feel a little nervous. I don't know why. I feel anxious. I feel excited and happy, but a little nervous. And I have no clue why. I'm also gonna get two more of those burritos that I got when I first came to the city. They're delicious. And I'm gonna have that when I arrive to my campsite. So yeah. I was able to go to Planet Fitness, shower, and I washed my car. I fixed some things in the van. And yeah, now I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I just wanted to be in the city for a few days just to refresh <laughs> before I go in the woods for a couple of weeks. The area that I'm going, I think there's like a Walmart 30 minutes from, 30 minutes to 30 or 45 minutes from the camp area that I'm going. So if I run out of food or anything, I can go to that Walmart, but I definitely will not be near a Whole Foods, a Trader Joe's, and things like that when, once I'm in that area. So that's why I wanted to come to the city for a few days. And, and yeah, it's been great. It's been great. So let's go. Black bean burgers. 
brown rice noodles, peanuts, tofu, cilantro, cabbage, coleslaw mix. I just get it so that I can add cabbage to my stir fries. Butternut squash, green beans, fire roasted corn, nectarines, zucchini, tamari, romaine, yogurt, coconut milk, tomatoes, sesame oil. So this is everything I got for my road trip for ho hopefully it'll last me like seven to ten days. I'm gonna put this up and hit the road. I have two of these boxes and both of these are not gonna fit in this freezer. They're gonna take up too much space. I'm gonna try to stuff all of them in one box. It's a little fat, but it's still smaller than having two boxes in my freezer. That's trash. Ow. I have this bag that I always keep in my refrigerator because it just makes it easier to take things out and, and find what I need without having to keep the refrigerator door open the whole time. Yeah, so I always do this. I did this when I lived in my car and I do it here. I need to fit some lettuce in here. Is it closed? Yes. It's closed. Let's put up the dry goods. And it closed. It's not usually that easy. <laughs> I've come a long way. Yep. 
I don't see the numbers yet. Yeah. Very close to it. Okay. I. Yeah. What does oh, that you might have passed by it or something. No, because you said I, you said it would be two to three miles, and I've only gone half a mile since you said it would be two to three miles. So I have arrived at my campsite, and I don't think I'm going to stay here more than one or two days. It looks beautiful, right? Why would you not stay here? You ask. I'll tell you why. I have no privacy. Campers everywhere, campers over there, campers over there. There's a tent in there that you can't see. I just want to be alone. <laughs> and I cannot do that here. So I'm going to look for other places to camp. But on the bright side, it's beautiful while I'm here. It's beautiful. It has rained in almost every single place I've camped at on this whole trip. That's where I saw a lightning flash. It flashed right above that mountain. It was beautiful. So I'm at my campsite. I arrived to the main place that I was going. And I have to say that I'm kind of fighting feelings of disappointment right now. The place is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning, but it's crowded. There are people everywhere. And that is not my style of camping. I'm sure my mom would be, be very happy if I spent the next 10 to 14 days here with all of these people here. She would feel safer because there's other people. But I don't like to camp that way. I like seclusion, solitude. The people next to me keep laughing. <laughs> I sound so bitter. It's annoying me. <laughs> They're talking loud and laughing and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. <laughs> And it's just annoying me. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. Oh my gosh, people laughing annoys me. But they're just so close. They're so close. They're right. I'll show you. They're like right there. There are people right there, right there, up there, everywhere. <laughs> there are people. So in a few days, I'm going to just try to scope out some other campgrounds nearby and see if they are less, see if they are less crowded. I have learned a lesson though, like I don't think I will ever go to like popular camp places, especially during peak times in the summer and the spring. I just don't think I'll ever do that again. But it makes sense. I understand why it's crowded. I expected it. I just was hoping that it wouldn't be that way. But it makes sense. It's a popular, beautiful place. It's summertime. It's free. You can camp here for free. You don't have to pay anything. And I think you can stay up to 14 days for free. It just makes sense that it's crowded. So I'm just going to try to enjoy the beauty while I'm here and scope out other places. And if every place around here is crowded, then I will just make the best of it and enjoy the beautiful area that I'm in the best that I can. Do you hear them laughing? They're laughing. I just wish they would be quiet. <laughs> Not for any other reason other than I want quiet. <laughs> I just know I sound ridiculous and bitter. Okay, I know it. I get it. If I don't get any solitude the whole time I'm in Colorado, this trip will still have been a complete success. And it's because of the way I traveled, the way I traveled slowly, and enjoyed all of the campgrounds in between getting here. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening. And... Hopefully those girls next to me will stop laughing so much and be quiet so that I can have a little peace. <laughs> Bye. Mm. It started raining, so I went inside my van and luckily I brought an extra burrito with me from the city. So I just sat in my van home, ate my burrito, watched some cartoons, and looked outside my window at the beautiful scenery that was behind me. Hey, kid of yours. Uh, very polite. Yeah. You trained her well. Who? Oh. The rain was on and off all night, so I went ahead and pulled out my bed, turned on a movie, got comfortable, and just watched a movie for the evening. I ended up staying here, I think, for three days, 
and I did enjoy my time while I was here. Crested Butte is gorgeous, so I made sure to explore. I went on a beautiful two hour hike, and I'll show you that in the next video. So I did enjoy myself, but I ended up leaving. And I went to a place that was a lot less beautiful, but made me so much happier. So I will share that with you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed going on this little trip with me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.